So, uh, crank generator. It said it can be done manually or automatically. Yeah. I don't know how automatically it works. But I will find out. So, I'm building some flooring and some and one of these crank generators. Uh, I am going to find out how this shit works here. Yeah. Um, okay, so, flooring. Oh, hey, that's cool. Flooring. Oh, man, this makes me happy. Hmm. We can start, uh, paving over this shit. None of this green grass for us. Oh, all right, okay. So how, does a, so how does a crank generator work? Obviously, we can we can manually crank this thing, activate crank. And it, yeah, it lasts five minutes. Oh, okay, yeah, just click it and it'll last five minutes. Okay, and then, um, now how, how you work. So if I put, um, but I feel like, shouldn't there be... Yeah, there's additional locked stuff above this on the next tier up. I don't know. Uh, where are you? Um, Which one are you looking under? So, on, on T Energy, so above the crank generator and basic construction, this is the next tier up that's uh, locked. That's what we need to bring the 500 uh, iron mm. and copper for. And, um, and we've got transportation, too. I wonder what that's about. But suit, increased walking speed and print and print speed sprint speed uh, at 115 percent and then some more stuff up there that's locked okay um well i'm gonna grab that 500 iron the i want copper yeah i was gonna I'll say yeah, let's go over. do that I'll, I'll come over with you hang on you use a walk what oh it's a say where is a cop something flashing over here i don't know why mm -hmm. what Oh, it's... Yeah, it's just out of material. Yeah. Okay. I'm coming. Yeah. I'm out of limestone as well. Yeah. Kind of to bolster our, our limestone production. Yeah. Well, you did find so, some before, didn't you? Yeah, I got a, um... Uh, I do have a mining drill on it. Yeah, so maybe... And we... I've been going back in and keeping it up, but I think, uh, probably gonna have to put more. Yeah. So, alright, well, I'm gonna grab this other... Now that you've got a core composer, all you need is a big enough power floor and a few crank generators to power it. After that, you'll be able to dump cores into oh. it and never oh, worry. Oh, there was one of these core composers in the again. um in the in the chest. Hmm. Task inbound. Core composer. Supply with research cores via belts and inserters for automatic placement and availability. Terminal upgraded. New technologies and recommended tasks available. It's time to put those crank generators okay. and power plant floors matter to use, frames? Oh, To make plant okay. matter frames, you'll need plant uh, sure for coolant. Concentrated solution that can be used to cool various tools and machines. After you okay. grow and thresh kindle vine, um, you'll need to thresh the kindle vine stems it produces a second time to turn them into plant us? matter fiber. Okay, I didn't unlock anything and then directly, you can but either craft got the plant matter uh, frames by hand or build tree. an assembler to do it for you twice as fast. So, And that's a lot of new tech to activate. So if you haven't built a core composer yet, now is the time. No, we haven't yet. Uh, chill out, woman. Um, so I heard something about Kindle. Hold on, hold on. She's still talking. She was not from there. Okay. Um, what were you saying? Uh, let's see. 
electricity. Oh, okay, so we're basically gonna need an acc accumulator for that. That's nice. Of a park. Basically, okay, so the there was something to do with. Yeah, so we have a planter, thresher. Yeah, these. That's it. And but we need to f scan for those, so we might might want to look around a bit. And then we let's see, craft speed, boost. Um, let's see. We also got mole speed, two. We need to scan four. Uh oh, and then we got uh oh pack size expands number of inventory slots that can be filled without increasing encumbrance by sixteen. Okay. Mm. Uh conveyor belt MK two. Um, uh, but we need the fast inserter. Oh, we need to get the filter inserter and long inserter before we can unlock the fast inserter. Yeah. So we just need to research the long inserter, but we still need to scan for the filter inserter. And what else we got? Oh, hover pack. We need to scan for that. Suit speed three. Oh, and then, oh yeah, the accumulator. For, uh, I think you mentioned that. Yeah, that's convert. Uh, converts and stores electricity from connected generators into electrical charge. Electrical charge can power machines and research cores. Okay, science. See, cause processing the, unit. Some the other plan, stuff. The planter and stuff will come in handy that that seems kind of like a thing that we want because if we're going to do the limestone as well yeah yeah so okay so we definitely need to be doing some some more scanning i guess i'm going to explore down this way a little bit uh around the corner from in that base oh some limestone around the corner too oh you're already down here yeah um It's getting complete. Beacon tech now available. That's cool. I mean, it's copper. I know, like I said, I know that this game is a game preview, which we never pointed out last time. We should point it out, but... Yeah. So, it is in early access, uh, or game preview, or whatever the hell you want to call that. Well, it's game preview on... Game Pass Boiler. Well, it's all the same thing. It's just different platforms call it a different thing, but it all means the same thing. Mm. Oh, what's this? Uh, nothing. Oh. Might be. Oh, I found a, found a fast inserter. Yeah, I'm. There might be bits you may have to dig through to... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because if you look at the map, sometimes it'll show, like, uh, a close-by thing to where you are, but you'd have to, like, dig mm. through to get to it. Give the fallen seed. Well, like right here, for example, looks like I can dig through. Well, I've just dug through the river. I'm just... Kind of gathering bits while I'm looking around. What's that? You tried to scan it then. Something you tried to gather. Is this above me or? Oh, that's above me. That's why. Seems like the shiver form seed will come in handy. Oh, what's this stuff? Extraterrestrial material detected. Advanced mining drill or upgraded tool required. Or explosives. It never mentions explosives. <laughs> okay, so I found 
Atlantum. Oh, okay. And yeah, I can't. I can't get, can't get through. Yeah, there's definitely something on the other side here, some sort of structure, but I can't get through it. Mm. And I'm guessing it's some sort of like resource that we're gonna need, some sort of Xeno material. Yeah. Okay, so there's more copper over here. Now the map does denote where the where these deposits are, which is helpful. So, because the copper is like orange. Uh oh. And, uh, oh, you fell. All the way. You keep. Oh, where'd you go? Yeah, it respawned me. But... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I. Yeah, you said uh, I happen to have the map open, <laughs> and you were close enough, and I saw. I just saw your little arrow going, boop, falling down off uh, out of. <laughs> out of the zone i'm like ah, oh, that's not good yeah no it, it respawned me back at the uh where the where we put the copper bars and stuff in oh. i got okay. too Another... close to a wall and the game just... Yeah, you kind of fell out of bounds there, it looks like. Yeah, click through. Yep. Well, it is what You're it is. falling out of bounds. But at least it didn't get rid of the... You know, at least didn't get rid of the inventory, which is good. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. I mean, how hard can it be to find uh, fragments? Hmm. Oh, this is this. Ooh, pretty. Oh shit. I found a big old place. Yeah? Yeah. High voltage cable? The sooner you scan these water wheels, the closer you'll be to never having to turn a crank generator again. Ooh. We should check out that office too. Where are you? Well, like I said, I found a cool old place. I need to f come and find you. Yeah, you do. This place is cool. So which way did you... There's like a big old waterfall, and there's water wheels, and there's crank generators. There's places. So did you go Yo. through the... Did you uh, go to the right of the hole that I ended up digging? I don't even know. Let me backtrack a little bit, see if I can... Oh, Christ, you're a little bit there. Oh yeah, you see where I am? So... Oh yeah. So, yeah, you know, um, yeah, go back, go back, go back. Go so, back. Yeah. And then take a left. But, okay, straight. Just follow that tunnel for a while. And then right. Go to the right. No. Nope. There you go. That's weird. Yeah, I took a really long way around. To follow that tunnel. Should be in a tunnel, right? I'm by the river. Yeah, look to your left. Is there? There should be a way to go there. Look at the map. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And then, did I go that way? I don't think you no. did. I think I've just ended up. I don't up... think I did. Yeah. No, hold on, hold on. But I am close to you. Let me see if I can dig to you. Because there's like a little adjacent space here. I think you're a little bit below me here. Can you dig up a bit from where you are? Uh, you see where I am? I'm like right above you. I can't seem to I can't dig down with this um this thing. 
I can with my pickaxe, but that doesn't help. It's getting up there though without. Oh, what? Okay. It would be getting up there. I think you're a bit higher up. Yeah, just you can dig up with the um, with your machine. If you go into the wall and just look up a little bit, you can build yourself like stairs. Yeah. Oh, because you see me on the mini map, right? Yeah. yeah. Just point towards me, and then. Because right now it looks like you're pointing a different direction, but. Oh. Hi. Well, that was awkward. Well, such is the nature of spelunking, you know? Yeah. Ah. See, this is what I found. Nice. We got all these, like, uh, so I discovered water wheels. It's like crank generators. And look. Look at the floor when you activate cranks. So that's powering the floor. Yeah. yeah, that's the whole point of the flooring, yeah. So, but the water wheels will automatically, like, do something here. Some of them you're supposed to scan. Um, uh, I already scanned a bunch of these, but... Oh, we need to get to the next tier before we can unlock the water wheels. So we got all the scanning done for yeah. it, but, but, and for the high voltage cable, but we need to get, we need to go back to Victor and uh, I forgot to check what the next thing was that we could, uh, uh ooh, research cores. Uh, oh, what's Facility that? access door unavailable. Refer to display panel for self-repair requirements. Oh, God. So you need... Advanced circuit... Holy crap, you need 800 advanced circuit and 300 processing if units to open that door. If this on the facility door. from above, the protection zone around the structure would have held it in place until it could either be pushed away or drilled apart. For it to have punched through like this... The weight would have had to slowly penetrate yeah, okay. the protection zone over. I mean, this is kind of the next know, like tier yeah. of, a lot longer than we of even stuff. Needed. So I kind of found this. Oh, there's a little thing at the end here. Uh, voltage auto step, techno build tech tree. That's cool. So we're starting to deal with stuff, basically, though. Yeah. I wonder if. Um, I tend to break some of this stuff down, but at the same time, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe we should all, uh, like, set up a factory here. Yeah. To open that door. Because I'm guessing that there's probably, like, copper and iron around here. Then, um... Still need the other parts, though, for what we're looking for. Yeah, but we can build a factory to build the parts. Yeah, okay. true. That is what I'm saying. So we get another structure over here too. Um, oh, what's this? Fun fact, Breaker. Before they adjusted our suits for them, those creeper plants used to reach out and try to grab anybody who walked by. Got so common that it became a rite of passage for people who joined Deep Recon. Spaghetti got her call sign off of it. So it's got to be a way to. There is sort of a way to get up here. Obviously, facility is off line. Uh, so what? So what does this one want? This wants forty monorail tracks. What? Monorail. Monorail tracks. That okay? You got my attention. And twenty yeah. cooling systems. Monorail track. That's exciting. So, 
the old, uh... I hope and I, and I hope that that's like in the game right now. Like I hope that's not just like a you know like oh we plan to maybe add monorails at some point. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So nothing in that door. And anything on here? Monorail tracks, you say? Yeah. Interesting. What did you? No, this, um, this place just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. Oh, uh, and I'm sure there's all sorts of like little hidden like nooks and crannies. Oh, and stuff. yeah. Because it looks like oh. something down. Around that way and all, but yeah. Uh, yeah, because that definitely connects to something. Hmm. We're basically exploring while we're uh, looking for. Yeah, this is exciting. I like exploring. This is one of the things I, that I really enjoyed about, uh, like, Satisfactory. Yeah. Because Satisfactory had that blend between, okay, I'm going to spend some time working on the factory, and then it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to spend some time exploring around looking for, like, hard drives and other stuff and, you know, other types of resources and stuff. Oh. Uh, what do we get down here? Oh, it's more of the... Um, uh, what are these power cable thingies? These high voltage cables? No, oh, right, okay. That's three out of five and four out of five. Cool. So I guess that's everything we need for that. That's cool. Uh, high voltage cable. That uh, that's some interesting things. So it does look like I mean, if you got like monorail tracks and stuff, that sounds exciting. Because now we're talking about like connect <laughs> factories and mm -hmm. fun stuff going on. All right, hold on. I'm going to go back. I just want to see, because this high-voltage cable was going over this way. So was there any other, like, machinery or equipment over here? Looks like there should or would be. There's also lights over here. I like these blue, um, these little blue tender plants. Yeah. Nice. See, is, is it something that's a bolt? What are you looking for? I don't know, I've just seen a lot of green things on the map. Keep an eye on oh, the yeah. sketch map breaker. Some walls are more interesting to cut through than others. Ah. Well, we already know that, lady. So maybe... If... Yes, nice. Hey, a battery pack. Battery Sorry, pack. An accumulator yeah. substation. I'll try to go easier on the recon slang. It might help you guess at what those signal names are short codes for. Accumulators won't matter for a while, but get in the habit of scanning anything and everything you find in places like these. If Where are you? Know. I don't know. Oh, have you gone further than me? Um, I don't know. I went down a side side tunnel you didn't see me on the map uh oh you went down to the uh that substation area yeah well, i broke or, no you went down there i broke through the wall oh yeah i see where you're at. I, I broke through a wall up here too but i don't think there's yeah i see where you're at though i'm coming to you because i want to see that that area you're at that looks interesting trust me you'll want to be here because there's still a lot of stuff we need to yeah like i said it definitely looked Look more interesting what you had going on over there than what I was doing. What's that? 300. So where'd you break through the wall here? Oh, I haven't got any storage so... space. I need storage. I need you with storage space. So when you... Uh, you go through the water? I'm back to the, uh, to the main water opening. Come down. Um, oh, I think, oh, I think I see where you... No, wait. No, that's where we came through. Nope, I, I went too far. I gotta turn around. Come back down. You see where I am on the, the map? Yep. Yep. I'm heading towards you. Ah, okay. Yep. 
Yeah, let's jump in here. We there's a lot of like, accumulated fragments we need to scan. Holy shit! If there is. There we go. One of one. One of one. And there we go. We got ten. The nice thing is we can just get free resources from scanning the other stuff. Kindle find extract. If anyone else is still around, I wouldn't be here. These places were pretty much built and left alone. There is a chest on the other side that you might want to grab. But I haven't got any so storage a, space. And I found a chest in here. It's got three crank generators in it. Alright, okay. Um, oh, and... Ooh, hover pack. Sweet. I got the hover pack uh, blueprint. Nice. The sector was a dream come true for hydroelectric power. It isn't surprising that we took accumulator construction seriously down here. I faintly remember power sources in other sectors that were even stronger, but they also tended to do things like explode, yeah, set things on fire, create giant clouds of poison. You get the drift. You can't go wrong with a good old-fashioned river. Did you get what was in it? Oh, which I already had them. I got almost 600 uh, power floors now. Okay, well, I'll just thought I'd give you. Oh, uh, which is sweet. I mean, a flooring definitely seems like something that we're never going to have enough of. So that is good. Yeah. I'm just to get back out of here. Oh. Now there's that, but wasn't there another one? Or am I just, am I losing my brain? No, I think you so, oh, there's, uh, yeah, around the corner, there's another green thing. To the left, you mean? Uh, to the right up this way, I see. Well, as I was looking at the map, it was to the left. Oh, yeah, it's all relative, I suppose. But right, let's see, where was that? That was further up the river this way, yeah. We follow the river up. Like, kind of like... Oh, this is where we already were. Yeah. Oh, okay. Going backwards. But wait, no, there's something green. Yeah, no, there's definitely... Yeah, if we look at the map, there's definitely something, like, green below us here. You see that? If I go to the base of the river here, and I dig straight to it, I think I should be able to find it. Yeah. We can't seem to dig down but i think i'm pretty much at its level if i go this way i also don't know how water reacts in this game yeah, it's also considered a protected area uh, so it looks we... like i can't yeah i won't let us dig through the water this way so it looks like i might have let's see how else can i get down to that because i'm seeing do you see there's like a green block if you open up the big map yeah. and rotate around like directly below the river there's a solid green block so i'm guessing that might be some sort of like room or i don't know what that is hmm. i don't know okay so that's okay so anyway so that's that that's that all right hold on i'm Turn it back around and because I was exploring another thing. Oh, there's another thing this way. That's the thing I was thinking of. Or the other thing I was thinking of. And yeah, there's another big room slash structure down this way. Like this looks even bigger. You see this on the minimap? Yeah. There's limestone though. Huh. Okay, how do we get into this? <laughs> so we can't erase it. Yeah, I think we can. I think the front of front of that's this way.
And it's locked. Whatever it is, is locked. Yeah. Restoring power to LID. Door unpowered and secured. Door unpowered and secured. Well, yeah, of course, but... Hmm. That's interesting. It's on a powered floor. I mean, we do have the task list there, but... Power, power restored. Okay. Oh. Get it. Yeah, but the problem, you're going to have to put a... Man, I, I did not think it was going to be that easy. No. I just happened to have one of those crank generators Too on me. High. Can... A warehouse. I knew oh, the gigantic warehouse. door was a good sign. Can you put a crank generator on... for some basic electrical machines, especially those... This side, because that only lasts on five minutes, just pick in up case anything it... else you can find. Yeah, well, I have another one. Hold on. Okay. And... Here we go. Filter Ooh. inserters. Stuff in there that you might want. Probably, but I want these filter inserters first. Yeah, there's... Yeah, filter inserters unlocked. I think, I think there's filter inserters in the... chest. Probably, but I need to... I want to be able to scan these. Ooh! Planters! Ooh, Bam. Nice. So now we get the, the scanning for the planters. That's good. That's what we needed. Lots of good tech fragments here, but I doubt we'll find anyone to rescue. People would take what Don't they care needed about people. and get back out there. What's that? And she just wants to talk about friggin' rescuing people. Uh, Beeps. Atalatum ingot. There oh is... yeah, that's that uh, Xeno stuff that I found. Oh, what are these? These are a different color. Oh, MK2. I got 50 MK2 belts. Nice. And some filter inserters. Uh, what I want is fast inserters. That's, that's what I really want. What I, what I really, really want. Yeah, in some of the, um, in some of the storage. Oh, what are th monorail system. What? Scan, scan complete. Monorail system. Full temperature calibrated. Auto-injection of coolant standing by. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Task inbound. We got a door Supply up here that wants 40 processor units to open. Materials. Yeah. Tier 4 technology required to manufacture. Which we don't have to pull. Look through the window breaker. No. <laughs> I can literally see the mining charge tech fragment on that table. What kind of miserable bureaucrat puts high explosives behind a securely locked door? You think we would be here if we didn't know what we were doing? I want you to fix that door as soon as possible. I want you to blow things up. Wow. Really? Yeah. Is she... I want to blow stuff up too. She sounds a little bit unhinged. I like it. I like my women the way I like my doors. Unhinged. <laughs> I don't really need to do that. But I can't... No, I can't do that. So I guess the only thing I can do is... Right. And oh, there's yeah. nothing... I have got some more Did you grab stuff from, in, from these chests? Because I'm not seeing much in these uh, storage containers. No. I've not touched any of them. There is... There, there's only a select... Okay. Yeah, I figured there was probably only like certain ones that had stuff in it, but. Yeah, there's only a select um, few. Yeah, do we get. Whoa, that's a whole shit ton of those monorail things. Let's see, another door up here. I don't even know where he's gone. There's. From the, from the entrance of the thing, uh, from the square of the big door we opened up, there's a stairwell. 
Oh, okay. Oh, but these big machines here, these are the, um, oh, yeah, the monorail. Okay. I had been scanning them. The monorail thingies. And we can't get in here because the access is on the other side. But, oh, this is cool. We're getting a shit ton of, like, materials. Oh, yeah. But I do like getting rewarded for exploration, so this is this is right up my alley. It's a warehouse. Yeah, like I said, just these are just Never open that tonight, yeah. Yep. I, mean, I got a lot of stuff. Hmm. And at least if we've got the planter stuff, that the cedar and the planter stuff, that would be quite handy. Okay, so this... yeah, but well, we still need um because there's the planter, and then oh okay so yeah so oh yeah so we got the filter inserter and long inserter re uh, scan them uh, uh, scanning done so we just need like thirty three research cores to unlock those two things, mm. which will unlock faster inserters, which I assume we probably need. Oh, wow, we need 360 cores for the um, conveyor belt MK2. Bloody hell. So I'm guessing that's going to be a... Uh... So we're definitely going to want these... Uh... Oh, hello. Oh. A pack size suit tech. Done. Great. Okay, well, I'll leave this thing here. Well, you can take it with us, can't we? I can, but, I mean, we're going to want to come back here at some point, because we got to get inside that door. So, so, on the off chance that we forget to bring one with us on the return trip, we're already right here. Well, uh, it depends if that door stays open or not. Yeah, well, we can just crank it again. Yeah, true. Alright, so... Oh. Somebody was sleeping over here. Like three, uh, three people over here. If yeah, everything else is right where we left it, my camp might as well be too. If you were part of my crew, you probably recognize this place. Procedure was to take you? a portable habitat yeah. module into the field. That wasn't for us. So we rigged an assembler to make all this instead. We did everything. This stage, I, I, um, I mean, they we're definitely like expedition. We found somewhere where I don't know where we are. <laughs> people leave you alone when you get results. <laughs> like I'm sure Those I can find times. find the way back eventually, but at uh, some point, something else. We are to definitely we off the reservation here. I know we were supposed to go home. The back of the world. Oh yeah. Uh yeah, this is actually the way we came in. Okay. Okay, so if we look at the map, um this way. I'm guessing. Uh and yeah, that's where you found those accumulators. Yeah, hold on. I just want to look right around the corner because it looks like there's a big opening back here um, yeah, following the river but the river doesn't continue through the river well it does uh, what is you this? Have... is this just iron? the river Four does iron. carry on through the river you just have to punch for a wall yeah, I know. I just wasn't sure if there was another um, another way of getting there. might actually be back where we were. Yeah. Yeah. That's back to the um 
Oh, sweet. So that, I'm glad I went that way. So that, that's a nice little shortcut. Wait. Okay, so what did we need for... Don't know. Next tier up. I'm just curious. I'm not trying to raise stuff here, but... Okay, uh, oh yeah, we need 2,400 ingots uh, for iron and copper. And then we need uh, 180 plant matter frames. How many? 180. Plant matter frames? Damn, I'm gonna go one. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little off. Uh, I have four. <laughs> yeah. That means we're halfway there, right? So five is half of 180. I'm pretty sure. So back to first and I think we need to make that some car thingies, don't we? Yeah, well we got um I wanna see how this works. So I got one of those core composers. Yeah. But we're gonna need um we have to unlock more of those. We we need um Oh wow, okay. Oh. Um, these core composers are very big. Ah, okay. So we very are, big. We we've been out, away for a while. Okay. Yeah, I figured everything's gonna be offline here, but we got um, 850 iron ingots. That's not much. Got like eight over eight hundred uh guess that'll nicely move that across here. Uh we've got eight hundred copper. Question is what is a minute? Um, alright, I need to test this. So the question is, does this actually need... I put these under, on, on, on these things. These was fuel. And we activate the crank, which... Uh, it still wants fuel. So how do we... So there's got to be powered versions of these things. What is this? About the smelter. Yeah, it's just a smelter. I mm. figured this wouldn't work, and it doesn't. So that must be the next tier. Or only the stuff above that is um. So let's see. Not terraforming. So let's see, smelting speed, the thresher, planter. Which we kind of need. Um, Overhead light. Must collect. I'm gonna. That. that um okay I'm gonna pick you up all right so i'm trying to clear some space here to put this core thing down I'm still hearing a power loop. Repeating power loop. Mm. Not sure. No, wrong one. I want to put them with seeds. Some more of them seeds.
Alright, so this is the um the power core thing. <laughs> ah. Right, not the power core, the uh, research core thing. Um okay, and then it needs power. So I'll, if I pop down activate that, is that enough power? I guess so. So what can we do with these other pods that we've already got? I don't know, but we can, but the thing with this, and the question is how many cores does this thing hold? I don't know. Because uh, one, two, three, four, five, so that'd be, looks like 10 per layer, or no, tw uh, my mistake, 25 per layer. Um, and then how many layers up can it go? I don't know. But if I give this thing, Okay, and I believe this can only be fit, um, fed via belts. So if I give you some belts. Mm -hmm. And then some inserters. Um, and then those and then I put these in here and out of power so the crank ah okay so on 750 the crank only provides 150 so I need um, I need more of these I need more of these things yeah oh let's see let's I can't put these right next to each other, huh? Okay, so let's put a core on there. Hey, we've got a core. Oh, there we go. There's the rest of the cores. Now, is that the original cores that... Uh, no, no, I made some new cores. Uh. Uh, now, so we got 10, 10 cores available to us. Um, I'm going to make up more cores and put them in this chest. Uh, boop. So we're just leaving these cores here then? Yeah, I figure we'll just leave the legacy ones over there and then... Um, and... I guess we want to unlock this like planter stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it could do, it could help. We really need to sort of look at getting that that uh, limestone as well. Yeah, I mean we're gonna have to figure out some fabrication too, because we got some uh, we get that assembler. Hmm. Um. Yeah, we get that unlocked, so we can craft assemblers. So I'm gonna have to figure out how those work. Now I'm guessing the assemblers are definitely gonna be powered. So I can craft one of those. I'm gonna craft one of those to see how they work. So I'm guessing. So I'm guessing. Uh, keep things relevant. I'm wondering if the miners and smelters have to use fuel. Yeah. And then pretty much everything above that starts just using power. That's what I'm wondering. Um, there we go. Small course. So, what is it? Synthesis. And yeah, we only got 21. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to want to start um, automating the assembly of cores as well. Yeah. And let's see, where's my... where did that go? I crafted one, didn't I? 
Well. Uh, an assembler. I'm just trying to find it in my inventory now. Where did it go? Where did it go? Am I freaking blind? Oh, no. It was still crafting. Never mind. Okay, so that's the size. What is that? That's a two by one, two, three, four, two by four. And yeah, I don't see a fuel slot in this, so I'm guessing this wants power. And then yeah, we basically just tell it what it wants, and then what it's what recipe to make, and then make stuff, and then it's got inputs and outputs. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. But yeah, so it's starting to stack those. I'm curious how high these things go. <laughs> well, like, like, how, how many? Like, how many does this store in total? I would hope quite a lot, because looking at this tech tree, it seems like we're going to need a lot. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to activate the planter. Done. And then we need like 19 more, 18 more cores. Task inbound. Planter. Supply with seeds to rapidly reproduce fully grown flora. Electrical power required. Okay. What the hell is that? Is that the assembler? Okay. Yeah, did you not? Yeah. I guess you weren't looking when I went around and talked about it. But yeah, this is the assembler. Oh, uh, it needs uh, it needs power. Uh, and you just choose a recipe. I mean, it works pretty much like any old assembler. Uh, two iron components. Ah, that's what the soil's for. You have to use five soil to make a planter. Hmm. Okay, I got 32 soil. I've got six. So, I can make a planter. Yeah, well, I'm going to craft one. So. Okay. It needs right, 50k I kilowatts. Okay, I'm going to just stuff the soil in the, uh, in our chest over here uh, as well as the seeds that I have I got some mm. various seeds and yeah okay so well, I got a shit ton of limestone on me at the moment um, yeah we need the limestone so, um... no. alright well, I'm going to start crafting up some of that better fuel Okay, and we're definitely going to want um, a way of dealing with these cranks than having to manually interact with them. Yeah. Um, and the only way to deal with... Yeah, that relates to... Excuse got, me, the... Um, got over a thousand copper at the minute. Oh, good. Good, good. I suppose the accumulator would help with that too. But yeah, the water wheel. So we need the next tier for the water mm. wheel. Well, um, that thing in front of you is a planter. Ah, yes. Uh, ready for seeds. So it's got four slots for seeds? I'm guessing That's so. Cool. Um, oh. We'll find out in a minute. Hmm. Um, Ah, right, okay, so it does four of one type. Okay, so you can't... Okay, so you can't do different types, but that's cool. But you can do four plants at a time. Yeah. Huh. They seem to grow pretty quick, too. Okay. So if we wanted to automate the fuel production, we basically need, you know, one of these, or more than one, depending. Mm. And then, so, because uh, we need that plus the... Um, limestone 
Yeah. So, and how much power does this thing take? 50. 50? And each one of these generates 150. Okay. So we could potentially, with the limestone up here, we could potentially automate some... Uh, some of that better fuel. Well, we're using we're using 200 kilowatts out of 600 kilowatts at the moment. Well, part of that's going to be the um, the core storage. Yeah. So, but um, but I could make more. Like we can have a separate power up there for the. Hmm. Um, Uh, as far as that goes and then have um, this could potentially self-feed itself yeah now the monorail thing I'm guessing is probably going to be for getting resources around but I wonder if we can get us around too that'd be interesting Um, okay, so uh, I need to come up with a plan of attack here. So, uh, step number one build more of these miners and flatten out the ground up here. Do we have the mold farm um, technology yet? Yeah, we got that a long time ago. So what does that give me then? So that has now given me Kindle Vine. Now I need something else, don't I, to to put the Kindle Vine down into plant fiber, don't I? Oh, you're right. Yeah, we need the thresher. So that's a little bit more of... Oh, okay. Oof. That's a little bit more logistics than I was expecting. So we <laughs> need the... Because um, we need the thresher to take that to turn it into uh, plant plant matter fiber. Then the plant matter fiber gets uh, has to be crafted into the plant matter. And then the plant matter can then be combined with the limestone to make the bio bricks. Okay. Well. Oh, well, well. Aren't you a pain in the ass? That's cool. <laughs> so, um... Cause... Also trying to figure out how verticality works in this game. Hmm. Okay, so for starters... Alright, well, I'm just... Setting up a little bit of a, um... Production up here. Yeah, because it needs to be plant the plant matter fiber to craft that. So what the bloody hell's the extract for then? And did we do we have that actually unlocked? No. What? Okay. Uh, yeah, we got fifteen cores. Hmm available and yeah we need 15 more to get the thresher but I feel like we're also going to want these long handled inserters if we want to automate getting fuel into these okay, mining drills let me not do that let me work some of that out and take that I'm 
I'm just having to, having to craft some cores. Yes, it's fine. I know you've got no power, but you can wait a minute. I'll re-crank you back up in a minute. I'm just waiting for my calls to craft. So it is still whatever cores I'm putting in the storage is actually taking them and feeding them in the machine but it's not putting them in the stack so I don't think it's counting them just yet until the machine gets power yeah until it gets powered back yeah. up but yeah. I was just waiting for the yeah because it's blinking the uh, power icon on it mm. too well yeah, it'll happily accept them, but it won't actually, like, no, no. process them until they're, um... Okay, well, that's good to know. Ever. It's just, obviously, while the craft... So these mining make... drills have a range on them. Right. Uh, take a moment, come up here to the, uh, limestone. You see something neat here. So, come over to this side and, and look at the drills. Oh! So they'll automatically extend out to meet the resource. I don't know how long they extend, but as you can see, um, the resource kind of goes at an angle here, but it'll just happily extend out to mm. reach it. That way, all these can be nicely aligned and feed out onto a belt. Yeah. So that's nice. So my thinking is the only way to get um, these guys like fed automatically, fuel-wise, is you'd have Rita, to have a second. I couldn't help but notice that you've got a crank generator to generate electricity, a machine that requires electricity, and a power floor that transfers electricity. What's missing? That's right, the electricity. It, we know. Having to keep that generator continuously cranked is a rite of passage. We've all been there, and I can promise you that brighter days are coming. But if you don't keep that thing humming, those brighter days won't be here for a very long time. We know. Yeah, lady, we get it. So, um, anyway, so the only way to automatically feed these things that I can see is using long the long inserters. Yeah. And having a second belt running that would have the fuel on it. Hmm. Um, because unlike Factorio... The main primary difference is that there's only one lane of items oh, belt. on a belt. Um, which isn't, I suppose, I mean, that's not the end of the world, but it does mean, you know, the words I just said. Um, oh, crap. Okay. So, down here, we're now not producing... Oh, are we producing enough? Well, we can't be producing enough. On to this, power usage has gone to like 750. 750. Well, power... Yeah, that'll flicker a little bit, I think, just as it adds cores, but it does end up adding a core. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Bam. It added a core. Yeah, it's weird. It flickers up to like 7... It flickers into the red for a moment, but it does do it. So maybe it just does it slower. Like yeah. if we had like more, we would do it faster or something. I don't know. So, um, oh, I also do have a couple of these. I wonder if I should plop these down. Um, Task inbound, accumulator, stores electrical power for delayed distribution. That might help. Yeah. And then it'll basically, if it does run out of power. Yeah, that gives us a little bit of a buffer anyway. Yeah. Because if you see, it actually charges it pretty quick. It does, yeah. Okay, so that accumulator is now charged. Is that all the cores gone on? 
guess. Well, how many calls we got? It's gone up to 42. Uh, yeah, we got 42. So, that means we can... I'm going to grab the Thresher. Mm-hmm. Bam. 12. So, the Thresher allows us to automate that. So, with the Assembler, the Thresher, and the Planter, Task inbound. we now have everything thresher. done to automate that. Supply now, the only other thing is our logistics of organic goods. is the long the inserter power done, and that leaves us with four left over for now. Okay. Um, so... Now, what else do we need the... Um... Uh, base building. No, that's just iron and copper. I'm trying to figure out what else we might need the um, limestone for. But so far, the only thing I'm seeing for the limestone is this whole. Oh, no. Uh, Shiverthorn coolant also wants limestone. Hmm. Smelter. Shielded. Uh, oh, yeah. The smelter wants limestone. Um. Okay, well, whatever. Limestone. Hmm. Okay. So. All right, so for now, let's see, I'm just going to stuff this. Limestone in a box. Yeah. Um. I mean, we've got over a thousand. That's good. But, uh, keep that running. We're definitely gonna need more. Oh, I'm keeping it running. So, so it, if you can actually, uh, in increase that production with more miners and smelters, <sighs> that would be good. Uh... Yeah, see how much base. Because when I tried to place another miner down to one side, to the right hand side of where I've got it, it wouldn't allow it. So it's either rip everything down and. Well, not rip everything down, but rip certain. Well, feel free to. Yeah, let me feel free to rip down and rebuild it. Um, so, but keep in mind you've got uh, more copper over here, and don't forget we got the mole now, so you can actually dig oh, yeah. under the wall over here to get access to more copper. Hmm. Just wondering if. Uh... Where is my... Why is all my tools gone back on that bottom bar? That is freaking frustrating. Because you accidentally knock a key, like I've just done, and it wipes out what you had on that key assignment. Uh,
Okay, you've done what I was thinking. Uh, just buttering. Don't mind me. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this here. What do I need again for mining drills? That's going to be you. Then you go into this thing than I thought. That's what she said. And then, um... Does a planter moved? Yep. I stole it. Ah. Have you got a fresher? Because I can craft one if... No, I, do, I made one. Ah, okay. So I'm working on the automation there. I figured while you were working on the copper, I'm trying to set uh... up the, uh, the fuel. system It's out of whack. Is it out of whack or is it not out of whack? Hmm. Is that? So I've just realised these drills actually have side parts. The mining drills. Mm -hmm. So I'm right. guessing that's for fuel. To fuel them. Oh wait, do they? Yeah, the mine drills. Oh yeah, they do have side, side ports. ports. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can you, yeah, you can probably daisy chain them. So if you put fuel in the first one, then just put uh, inserters from one to the next one, you can probably just daisy chain the fuel. It only has the inserter on the, it only has a, the part on the left. I know, but, um... I'm not sure how well how else that would be useful. You know what I mean? Because I how would you orient them in such a way to where that would be? Yeah, you'd have to like space them out weirdly the other way. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I'll have to I'll I'll have to play with that. Um, have I got any? In fact, I'm going to play with that right now. Um, oh, will that work? I'm guessing no. That, that does not. Does not work. I repeat, that does not work. What the fuel? Daisy chaining idea. Ah, uh, okay. Um. Oh, that's not what I want. I want the planter. Um. Enter goes. Uh, and it goes like this. And 
do... Okay, that makes more sense now. And go... Like that. Then can we go like this? Theory, like that. Then we'll come like that. This is going to be. Oh shit! We need two of these, don't we? Well, that's right. Oh, I'm just missing a step, is all. Um. We need to make the plant matter and then the plant matter to. Oh, he's sticking over Right, right, right. right. So that goes on. Oh. Uh, that option means I need another one of those. What am I missing? Oh! Oh, it's that. Oh, not again. There is a way to actually put a conveyor belt higher. Yeah. Yeah. Getting the bloody things to join, on the other hand. No, don't put the. Oh, yeah, because you can go like one over. One over another one. Okay, so I just need a little bit of this. Threshing initiated. Be advised that all generated outputs must be relieved for production without disruption. Uh, okay. Then, I don't know what that means. Go the wrong way again. Uh, okay. Because I know you can slightly turn the belt, because I've just done it. Oh. What? Hmm. So once the planter finishes, it consumes the seeds? Uh, or does it? Hold on. Maybe that was because of... Hmm. Hold on. I'm still figuring shit out. The planter, um, it should have given Kindle. Is it like a Kindle thing? When it says ready Kindle to vine. harvest. Yeah, Kindle Vine stems. Yeah. Um, okay, and then that gives. Oh, okay, that generates a decent amount anyway. And that's Kindle Vine. Ah, oh, okay, so it generates two things. What the fuck do Task I do with the extract? Double threshing. Thresh kind loving to produce kind loving stems. Thresh kind loving stems to produce plant matter fiber. Assemble plant matter fiber into plant matter frames. No. <laughs> okay, so no, because it gets the. Ah, oh, man. So we get the kindle bean. Yeah. Uh, it's a double process here. Yeah, I. No, because when you. So you get the, the Kindle Bean, then you run through the Thresher to get the sticks. You have to run it through the Thresher again, or another Thresher, to get the um, the Plant Matter Fiber. Mm. And the Plant Matter Fiber has to be put into an assembler to turn that into Plant Matter. Then the Plant Matter has to go into another assembler uh, to make the... Um, it was, uh, what the hell is it called? The blocks, the plant matter blocks. Yeah. The bio brick. 
Holy shit. That is a whole thing, isn't it? I don't know what we do with the extract, though. Yeah, and that's the other thing. We got the extract, and I don't know what the hell we do with that. Um, I don't know, because I've, I've just taken it, but I've got more down on that storage chest. But what do we do with extracts? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh oh, oh, uh oh, okay. Well, so we can turn. We can actually turn Kindleveen extract mm -hmm. into limestone. Okay. But it's produced. What is that machine? What is that produced in? Oh, it's. In a smelter. Um, okay. So we, so we can put the Kindleveen extract into a smelter to tur to make it into limestone. Hmm. Okay, I'm really trying to wrap my head around these uh, production chains here. This is already way more, way more complicated than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. Okay. Okay. Because, yeah, once we... The other thing, too, is we get the... I think it's taking out... It's processing that, but do we get... Right. So the Kindle Vine... Right. The Kindle Vine goes into this, and from the Thresher, we get the sticks, but we also get the seeds back. Hmm. So I need to filter out the seeds to go back into the planter. Yes. Ali. <laughs> you wanted to get involved with this game. <laughs> I did. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Okay. Uh, uh, this is just way, way more it's, it's production really, chain-ish than problem I thought is, it's this was way, be. It seems to be way more complex than it actually bloody needs it. Well, I, there's also a bit of a, like progression like issue because like i feel like we went from like oh just go ahead and smelt some stuff to massive production chain hmm. you know like uh, okay i feel like I'm, I'm missing some steps in between here but yeah. maybe maybe this is my fault and i'm not really expected to be doing this at this stage yet like maybe i'm, I'm biting off more than i should be chewing right now hmm. is maybe the case I know that doesn't sound like me, but that <laughs> could well be the case. Yeah, it doesn't sound like you. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um... Okay. So, because that ends up with, yeah, the seeds and then... The seeds and the stems. Um... I have more... And then that's gonna have to go into a second thresher, so but I could definitely do that. But my, um, but this stuff is definitely taking way more space than I thought it was gonna take. Do you need to figure out? Oh, so, so I think what I need to do is make make myself some more space. Hmm. Part of this. Right. What was I doing? Oh yeah, copper. Uh, do I rotate things there? Yeah, so d you can definitely put literally fuel these things on their own. You just have to get creative with how you space them out. Well, the long handled inserters would work too. Well, no, even in the config, line. even in the configuration that we have them currently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me show you. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna have to delete. Actually, no, I don't need to delete that. Um, the question is, where would I feed that from? 
Well, if I get rid of this other shit, which I think I'm gonna do, then I can just feed it from over here. Okay, let's get rid of this other shit. Break it down, tear it apart. And then we just need one there. All the way to there. And oh, right, okay, so it automatically one. creates a merger when you put two belts together. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, well, that's not going to work too well. So, can I... Put you there. Can I rotate? output ah okay so you know the there. you know that plant matter fiber thing as well that you mm -hmm. get from fresh and it can be used as a fuel source yeah i figured it, it might be but i figured it's probably not not very good no not really by the looks of it Um, okay, so it looks like it only, yep. Okay, so I got my machines feeding in um, fuel automatically. Yeah, don't know how I'd do that from over to over there, to the copper, of course. All right, so you've basically got one as the output, but then, ah, right, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah so I'm just using it's... a long-handled inserter. Hmm, makes sense. Yeah, that seemed like the the best way to do it without having to like, um, like weirdly space everything out. Well, if I have to, I'll just run up and get. I have to run up and get some fuel from here. So, and I'm noticing that there's, um, it only fills it up to, like, a little bit, like, four. like three or four. Yeah. And then, um, oh, which I do like that. I appreciate the fact that there's kind of, like, auto, like, built-in stack limits for stuff, so it doesn't just automatically fill, like, a whole stack worth of stuff. Hmm. So that is nice. Not so few. I wish you could get rid of the ground somehow. I mean, build flooring. Yeah, but you still got all the grass underneath. Can't see it though. It's. Well, you can't hear. He gets rid of all the grass. Oh. Well, I can see grass yeah. here. Ah, uh, it's a visual bug then. Alright, okay. Because I don't. Alright, okay. I can still see. Yeah, grass. anywhere where I put flooring, <laughs> the grass the grass automatically goes away. Right, so that's okay. the way it's supposed to work. So I had a client site visual book. I think I'm not a bit of fuel. Keep stealing all my fuel. Well. Yeah, because I can even see grass down on the floor in where the crank generators are and the stuff is. Oh yeah, yeah I don't. No. Oh, well. Split these. Uh, for now. Let 
Until well, I'm speaking of for now, until I can get a better system. Until we can divide, devise a better way to do this. I might as well autom uh, at least automate making these brick brick stuff. Um, oh, can that not be? Oh yeah, no, it's right there, derp. And then. Um, Put that's cool. The assembler animation's kind of neat. Yeah. Oh, neat. And it actually shows it in the end. That's cool. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, instead of trying to fly, I, I need to learn to just kind of hobble along the floor here a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to automate uh, TM um, by just slapping down some storage containers. Hmm. Uh, and then I do have you coming out of this, so... The other thing, too, is when you're laying down belt, you can drag it out, and as you're dragging it out, if you stop and hit R, it'll rotate, mm. and then you can uh, keep going in that direction. Yeah. Which is nice. Uh, nope. I need... One of these. I need another one of those. more of these okay so i can at least start automating this uh process um <laughs> for the fuel up here yeah um by just dumping shit into some chests because that at least speed that at least does speed up the process quite a bit um it doesn't it's not fully automated but we can at least take because there's still a lot of this plant matter that we can just scoop up with our hands yeah He's just dump into this chest. I'm allowed to craft some shit up. Uh, okay, and then these, and that'll get some of you going out. then it's going to be like next is figuring out how to do the fresher bits to get that sorted to be able to do the plant matter for feeding back into yeah I definitely uh, you know like filtered inserters and a lot of that stuff so um, but I'm also thinking um uh, I really need to start probably thinking more like Factorio, which I always run into this problem here, I, and I've got my brain kind of wrangled about it, Factorio, and I always seem to fall flat trying to apply this to other factory games for some reason, um, until I kick myself in the ass and realize, like, oh yeah, right, I should be doing that. Um, we should probably start working on automating some of the basics. Yeah. Um... So automating belts, automating um, inserters, um, automating uh, powered flooring. We just need an area to be able to do that. Correct. That's the main thing. And that's one of the nice things about like Factorio is that you just kind of have a lot of space to play with. This game, not so much. But I, like I said, I would like to figure out how do we deal with verticality? Because we have stairs. Yeah, we can make stairs, and then ideally that means that we can make. Um... Oh wow, these stairs are tiny. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. That's okay. But you can drag them out. So this is hilarious. Uh, these stairs. Oh, okay. Are one by one. Okay. But you can drag them out. Counter intuition notice. Stairs cannot conduct electrical power. 
That was me. I made them put that warning in there. Now, theoretically, can, with the I stairs, just... yeah, and then with the stairs, I could then, I can snap off of that to build more floor. Hmm. That's cool. Um, so, the next question is, is how do we go, like, if I wanted to build, oh, that's how. Convey belts? Oh. That looks super wonky, but that is... That's a conveyor belt that goes upwards. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. That's cool. Whee! So I do wonder, uh, well, I don't know, because it doesn't really, you know, I'm kind of torn on this idea with the uh, the way they have the tech tree set up. Yeah. Because there's a lot of stuff that's, like, locked. Hmm. And you can't see what it is. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind that it's locked. I mind that I can't see what it is. Yeah, because you don't know what that would be weird on the Right. I mean, okay, I get some level of mystery or whatever, but I do like the way Factorio handles their tech tree, um, where I can see what's coming up next, and I can click on something, I can see how I get there, what do I need to, to be able to kind of progress to that goal, and I think that that really helps from a gameplay perspective, because you can look at a target down the road. You can have short-term and long-term goals that way, yeah. um, because you know, oh, okay, I want to get to, like, this thing, but I need to do all these other things to get there. So there's there's my set of goals, right? Whereas here, it's like, I don't know what my long-term goal is. Hmm. Yeah. I have a lot of short-term goals, but I don't know really what that's leading towards. Um, so I'm a little torn on, on that front. Um, so, oh, and we do not have the mole flat. No. Um, I mean, I'm still able to kind of dig stuff out in a flatter sort of way. Um, I don't know, maybe we should get that. So that's 25 more cores. Well, I'm currently in the, pro uh, in the midst of crafting more cores as we speak. Okay, I'll craft some up too, so we can double our, uh, double our efforts here. Well, and, um, you'd be impressed also... with... I mean... I mean, by the time I've finished getting through my craft queue, we're going to have a lot of calls. Well, we're going to need a lot of cores. Definitely a thing that uh, we I mean, need I'm not, a lot of. I'm not going to let... I'm not going to repower the cranks up either because the fact that the amount of cores I've got here... Yeah. I think that's them crunks running out. Oh no, that could be the other crunks at the top running out. Yep, that's the crunks at the top running out. I need to okay. crank. I'll crank these back on. Yep. The bottom ones don't need it. Yeah, it'd be nice to get be able to get a system. Oh, oh yeah, point. these bottom ones were just about to but they could crash. they can run out because the accumulator has got charge yeah but I mean I figure that that accumulator is probably going to drain fairly quick but either way uh, let's see that's 11 well, I've just put 22 in and I've got more heading. I'm just hoping we've got the space. That's what kind of worries me. Well, the map, given the size of this, the map does seem to be pretty large, and we can really just start digging our way out on stuff. Um, and there is, like, the jetpack that we can unlock for 
better verticality, I guess, for mm. uh, for being able to kind of clear areas out. Um, but I mean, it's, it. I mean, this is kind of like uh, playing Stone Block in a way um, that we never played. Um, well, we, yeah, we still needed to go into that really. Okay, so what are we at? We're at twenty-seven cores. Okay, so I'm gonna do that flatten. Mm-hmm. And what does that do? How do I how do I do it? Z switch modes. Uh, five by five to flatten. Okay, so this is flatten mode. What does this do? Okay, so yeah, so that'll bring stuff up. Or down. Okay, so this is basically, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, okay, this, alright, this is about what I'd expect. Uh, sort of. Can we bring stuff up? Do we actually have access to... What? Fast oh. inserters? Um, we have to unlock them. They are. Uh, oh, we need um, filter inserters need to be unlocked first. Ah, okay. And we have almost enough cores for that. Twenty four. We just need one more. Okay, so activating filter inserters. Task inbound. Filter Holy inserters. shit! And we need two hundred and ten cores for fast materials and products of a selected type. Electrical power required. Oh. Filter inserters are especially critical for machines like threshers that produce both seeds and plant matter. You might not want to have different things spitting out to the same line or getting pulled into the same machine. And the filter inserter is going to help you with that. Thank you, voice in the head. Um. Yeah, because I was just thinking, because obviously we've Up here, I mean, it just seems a little bit slow. You steal all the fuel again? I put a bit of fuel in your bloody logic hole. In one of your iron smelters. I'm just trying, I was trying to keep that running. Did you take all the fuel out of the storage? No. It's two bits there. Like I said, it's slow. Well, this should be... I don't know, I feel like this should be holding up, but it's not. Why is this not crafting? I don't see anything coming out of it. Why are these... Why is it stopped? Why are these inserters not working? We were working before. Up here, I saw the moving stuff. Why are they not moving stuff? Like, it's confused because on one side... Okay, no, okay, now it's suddenly doing stuff. Uh, oh no, I guess it is just that slow or something? What's going on here? Why is this... Yeah, they are moving. But it is... The graphic here is all wonk too. Like, it's not showing visually correct. Power satisfaction shows fine. Uh... Plant matter's waiting to be fed in. 
Is yeah, because it's got plenty of plant matter, but I think it doesn't craft until it gets up to, like, a certain amount of, um... Oh, yeah, because it wants, um... Yeah. Okay, so but that's not the actual recipe. How many is this doing at a time, then? 25 plant matter and 50 limestone. Uh, no, that is the recipe. Okay. Hmm. So that's, so that's why. So the, the slower down here... The limestone. There's a limestone, but it's not been. Um, well, that's mainly just because it's coming out of one. Like this inserter can only pull so much, so much at a time. Yeah, but is it one? Is it going to be a oh. good? Is it going to be a good thing? Is maybe feeding it a little bit more? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> no, I was just saying. Is it going to be maybe one of them things where you need to feed it more? Okay, so I'm curious. Well, I've got calls I'm going to put in. I want to see how quick these accumulators are going to drain now that these cranks have kicked out. 20. It drops to 19.2. 18. 18.8. 18.5. 18.1. 17.7. So it's... Yeah. So that'll basically, it's quite quick to charge the accumulators even though it took it from it. We're getting a moment of course. That's good. We've got 36 calls at the moment. Holy crap, so it's 300 and... 360 calls for... Mark II conveyor belts. 210 for fast inserters, obviously 90 for pack size 2, and then obviously tool belt 2 is 35 calls. Yeah, we definitely need to start like automating cores and stuff too. Um, mm -hmm. So that's definitely uh, something we're going to have to start looking into next time. Is yeah, how to really get into some better automation on this stuff. Um, but but a lot of it's learning, figuring out the ratios, um, figuring out all the gotchas on this thing. Yeah. But yeah. The limestone is definitely the slow down. Um, slow down on this one. I mean, technically, they it, in the end they both kind of are because it wants um, yeah, it wants twenty five. So it's a two to one ratio. So it wants um, it wants fifty limestone and twenty five plant matter. Hmm. Um, which is kind of crazy because I'm. I'm I'm kind of glad I haven't really gone out of my way to uh, work on the rest of the system. Because we really don't have the infrastructure to support crafting this thing. No. Because the assembler only has a total of um, eight inputs. So, at best, um, to, to get a ratio would be uh, four to two. So even if I had limestone filling in on, on all four of these ports on one side and two ports on the other side to do the two to one ratio, it's still not going to be fast enough with the current belt speed and inserter speed. No. Because it only takes five seconds to craft um, to craft that. So that means at once uh, 10 limestone second mm. that's just not going to happen now do these belts give us any information on like speeds or anything uh, uh must be used since her 
Yeah, so like conveyor belt, the basic conveyor belt just says automates transportation of items must be used with inserters to transfer items to and from machines. Mm. Um, yeah, it takes one one second to craft it, but yeah, it doesn't give us any information on how fast it is. Same thing with the inserter, it doesn't say how fast it is. No. So. It's something um, we need, we're going to have to look into. Well, yeah, I mean, you realize between now and the next episode, I'm, I'm probably going to watch like a whole bunch of videos. You probably will, do. And then come back and be like, okay, I get this all figured out, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Or I'll be like, you know, yeah, I watched a bunch of videos and I still don't know what the hell I'm doing, so uh, let's do it. Yeah, we'll just end up learning. Uh, go along. Yeah. I mean, either way, I'm definitely going to like do some research, research on this. But we do have a shit ton of limestone. Yeah. Can't tell you that. We do have quite a bit of limestone. But oh, yeah. the, the biggest limiting factor on what we're capable of doing right now is belt speed and inserters. This is why I'm currently like crafting claws out of my ass. Okay. But a lot of this I think we need to start thinking about in one to one ratios, right? Because if you if we've got on one end, if you have an inserter coming out from like um, a driller. Yeah. Then you need to have that's going to cooperate with one inserter going into a storage. Mm. Right? So if you've got two, then you need two inserters going into storage. If you've got four, you technically need four on the other end going into storage. Yeah. Right? Uh, in order to keep up with that uh, belt. Because we're only using. Because we're only using the first storage crates, aren't we? I don't know, because... I don't know... Yeah, I mean, well, I, I mean, I don't know if there's later storage crates or not, but... Well, when, um, you, when you look at the logistics side, it says pack size 2. So is that actually our inventory slots? For that one, I don't think so. Uh, let's see, what's, what's that under? Logistics. Pack size two. It says expands number of inventory slots that can be filled without increasing encumbrance by sixteen. Yeah, I feel like that's got to be our inventory. But why use a bloody storage crate? <laughs> yeah, that's I hear what you. confuses. The main thing to me would be is yeah. I would think you know, I don't the the word the way they're using the word encumbrance. Mm. Would seem to be the player. But yeah. I could be wrong. Um, so, but, oh yeah, we do have that hover pack. That's only twenty cores. Yeah, Can I unlock that. If you want to. I feel like that's something that would be helpful. And obviously, you you do have well, you have tool belt as well, tool belt too. Right. So how do we use the hover pack? Don't know. We. Oh, we gotta craft it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That'll be a next time thing for me. So, we're going to end this one here. So, obviously, thank you to Tim for joining me on this one. Oh, you're most welcome. It's been, uh, it's been very interesting. We have this lovely power of cores here, and um, I will continue to grow and bust its way through the cave and then we'll just be able to climb them out and uh, build a spaceship and leave this planet, right? I think that's how that works. It probably would be good, yeah, to do it that way. Yeah, that'll be easier. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support channel, links are in the description and me and Tim will see you in the next episode. So until then... Later. Goodbye for now. Thank you.